This is a solution of a looping assignment problem where you are asked to find the sum of the individual digits of a number and then print whether that sum is even or odd. So let's say for example the input number is 1, 2, 3 that is 123. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Now 6 happens to be an even number. So that's what this program is expecting you to find out. So in order to find out the sum of the digits of a number, the first variable I'll need is a variable called as number to read the number. Then in order to store the sum, I'll require a variable called as a sum with the initial value 0. And then a variable called as remainder because every time a number is given, I have to do the mod and the division operator. Remainder will hold the result of the mod operation and division will help me get rid of the rightmost digit at that point of time. So let's say we first read a number. Once we read a number, we are required to process that number as long as that number is greater than zero. So here if you see, as long as that number happens to be greater than zero, what I am going to do here is I am going to first extract the remainder that means the rightmost digit from that number. So what will be the logic? Remainder will be number mod 10. So it will give me the rightmost digit. Then what I can do here is I can take that remainder and add it to sum. So I can say sum is sum plus remainder. Then I need to get rid of the rightmost digit. So what I am doing is I am saying number is number divided by 10. And this particular loop will continue till the number becomes 0. This is based on the logic of a problem where we have done extracting the digits of a number from right to left and printing one digit at a time. It is based on that particular problem. A similar logic was also used in numeric palindrome. Now what I am going to do is once this extraction is done, I have a very simple question. I am going to ask if the sum mod 2, that means the sum if it is divided by 2 and the remainder happens to be 0, then I am going to say sum of digits is even, else I am going to print sum of digits is odd and come to a stop. Now we are going to take a look at a test data to see that the logic is correct number 1 and number 2 to also understand the working of this particular algorithm. So initially number is a question mark because we are not really bothered about what value it will have because we are going to read the number from the user. So the old value will get overwritten so not a problem. Remainder also is going to be calculated new every time. So I am not bothered about remainder so I have not given it any initial value. Sum I have to give it 0 because if you see here I am saying sum is sum plus remainder. Suppose number is 1 to 1 sum will be 0 plus 1 first time then it will be 1 plus 2 which is 3 the next time it will be 3 plus 1 which will be 4. So let's take in an input number let's say the number is 234. So I read a number number is 234 is 234 greater than 0 this condition is true. Now 234 divided by 10 the remainder is going to be just 4. So remainder is 4 then sum is 0 plus 4 so sum is also 4. Now number is 234 divided by 10. Okay this is a whole number division so only 23 is going to remain. Now when 23 remains I am going to come here is 23 greater than 0 it is still true. Remainder is 23 mod 10 so it will just give me a remainder of 3. Once I get 3 I am going to add this remainder to the old value of sum. 4 plus 3 happens to be 7. Then I come down here. Now number is 23 divided by 10. So number just becomes 2. 2 is greater than 0 is still true. 2 divided by 10 or 2 mod 10 it is going to be 2. Okay because 2 is not divisible by 10. Now what happens is the value of sum so far is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So this becomes sum becomes 9. Now number is 2. So 2 divided by 10 the quotient is 0. So number has now become 0. Is 0 greater than 0? No. So I will come here. 
in step number 4 i am taking 9 sum stores the value 9 9 mod 2 the remainder is 1 therefore the sum of digits of this input number happens to be odd you can take any other number run through the logic and you will get perfectly fine results just make an effort to understand the logic once you do a variety of problems logical thinking will automatically come to you initially you may have to put in a little effort of thinking then after that it's as simple as anything you have ever learnt and it's really fun and educating for you.